Hey guys, welcome to a brand new vlog. Much higher quality, we have upgraded. So let me know what you think of the quality of this now. We have put our cannons to rest because we had had enough of how bad the quality was. Unfortunately, until Canon can create a better vlogging camera again, we're sticking with something a bit newer. We have just had a really fantastic weekend with my two cousins, Danielle and Jessica, came over with their partners, Pat and Jamie, and we've just had like a really lovely chilled out weekend, like I've barely touched my phone. It's just been a real time of like relaxation and time for the just family chats, caught up on everything and it's just been really, really nice. So now um, it's like two o'clock. I've decided I'm gonna have a bath and then, well, I need to pack because tomorrow we're going away skiing. Woohoo! Very exciting. You won't see that in this vlog because this vlog I have something really exciting to share with you and it's gonna take up too much time to then do the skiing trip within this vlog. So that'll be in the next one, I'm afraid. But for now, I'm just gonna get myself a bath, a really chilled out bath. I might watch the newest episode of the morning show in the bath i'm really really excited i'm halfway through it but i keep being like interrupted by things so i'm gonna do that and then after that i wanted to go through my bag collection and start putting it away in my brand new closet so that's the idea for today which is why like i said this video will be too long because i've already just put all my bags out into the room and <laughs> they are like covering the floor so many of them it's unbelievable so it's going to take me some time and i want to kind of go through each bag and why i like it in a very very succinct way and talk about each one so that's the idea but anyway let's just um let's just get a bit of a bougie bath on the go because it's fancy a chill out so for complete transparency as always this part of the vlog is an integrated paid for advertorial with loxitan I have got a lot of L'Occitane goodies here that I'm going to use in the bath and it's a perfect time to tell you guys all about my favourite products because I have a special discount code for you. So for any of you L'Occitane lovers out there and for any of you who want to try it for the first time, I have a 10% off code which is very very rare for L'Occitane, their products are so so special. Um, this sort of discount does not really happen. It's site-wide, you get free next day delivery and you get 10% off if you use the code FROXMAS. FROXMAS, and you get 10% off. So I thought I'd show you some of the products that I'm using in the bath because they are so beautiful and just make for this really calm, chilled out wellness moment and that's what I'm all about at the moment. Recently work has been there's been a lot going on and it's been somewhat stressful and I've been finding myself I've been finding myself having baths practically every single night, which I never used to do. I always used to shower, but I've been finding just having that half an hour to myself in the bath has honestly really, really helped just with my mental health to be honest, just really chilling me out at the end of the night helping me kind of de-stress and to take off everything off my mind um, and I really feel that we all deserve that kind of me time and to really look after ourselves a bit more so if you're a bit like me or you know someone else who just needs a bit of a chill maybe some of these products could be great for you guys the code is available until the 24th of December so it's just a really really nice treat okay first up this L'Occitane candle the Cocon this serenity. Oh, it just smells really calming and soothing. Um, it's just a relaxation candle. I mean, look how beautiful this is as well. It's like frosted glass style, which is gorgeous. So first things first, I'm gonna light my candle. Where is a liar? I always like to have a little candle on when I'm in here, because it means then I don't have to, I don't necessarily have to put on the light which is quite nice, it just makes it even more kind of soothing and chilled. Um, okay, today, oh, what should I use, what should I use? I mean, I've got a few favourites when it comes, when it comes to L'Occitane products for like bath and shower, I've got a few favourites. Top one always being this one, foaming bath. First of all, I love the packaging in this aluminium, it's just unlike so much on the market, and it's just gorgeous, and it smells absolutely divine, it's just like they've packed a load of lavender into here. For me, lavender is just a really re relaxing smell. 
So it always reminds me of my mum. My mum introduced me to lavender like years ago when she knew that I just wanted to like, like chill out a little bit. If maybe I was getting a bit upset about stuff, if I wasn't sleeping well, she'd have like little pillows of like, um, tiny little pillows of lavender that she'd put under my pillow just to just like chill me out. The smell of lavender just reminds me of relaxation. So that's why I love it so much. And this just foams, it foams and lathers up so nicely in a bath. So you get a really beautiful bubble bath. Because often I find with like bath, bubble baths, for me, I like the bottles to look beautiful because I always have them on my bath. I know it's a bit, it's quite materialistic, I suppose, but that's what I just really like when the bottles look beautiful in the bathroom. So that's why I love this. So let's get this bath on. So it does say to pour two or three large spoonfuls into the bath under running hot water. I often add a tiny bit more than that because I like lots of bubbles. <laughs> How much this bubbles up. It's so bubbly. This looks so inviting now. This looks wonderful. Um, so I've got a few different products that I can use out in the bath. Um, one of which, I mean, I'm, I've tried a few L'Occitane masks in the past and they've all been really, really beautiful. This one is the soothing mask with freshly picked Adeshe, Adesh black currants. So I'm going to use that in the bath. But I mean, again, the packaging is just gorgeous. I mean, how pretty is this soap? This soap I just like to keep here on this section of the bath. So I've just got a nice, easy soap to use when I'm in the bath. But again, it's just such a beautiful product. Um, if you're not someone that likes baths as much, then the shower oil, I mean, again, the packaging is just beautiful on all of these. I love the style of, like, the fonts and the logos and everything that L'Occitane uses. But this is the almond oil um, shower oil. It's a bit different than your normal shower creams or things that foam up in that way. It's just a lovely shower oil that you can put on. What I like about this as well is it's got the pump. So I pump this onto, like, a shower lily and then just buff it away all over my body and then I just find my skin just feels really lovely and hydrated afterwards. It's just really luxurious as a product to use. Really wanted to show you this as well because look how gorgeous this packaging is, the shower foam. This just looks to me like you're about to put whipped cream on a cake. So it just looks really delicious to me. It's literally cream, it's beautiful. That is just so special to give someone as a little Christmas gift. And you can get it with a load of other bits and bobs. So after you've used your beautiful shower foam, you can go onto this perfumed body oil. Again, lovely little top. It's really nice and easy for decanting the oil out. Such a lovely tin. This Festive Garden Ultra Light Cream, whipped. And again, with the wonderful textures, this is like a whipped up body cream. Just feels amazing. Almost reminds me a bit of like ricotta cheese that's like whipped up. Oh, it smells delicious. And then the final product I've got in that range, I kind of had to put this in here to show you because anything, any hand cream from L'Occitane I find are just really beautiful. Not only again in the packaging and you can get them in these, they come in these foil wrap tubes so they're fantastic to be recycled super easily. But they're always just such nourishing hand creams. They actually really do a job. I've always been a huge fan of L'Occitane hand creams. Generally, every year I will buy family some L'Occitane hand creams because they just work so well. I don't think you can go wrong as well with the L'Occitane hand washes and hand creams. Again, the packaging, it just looks so cool and like, robust and just looks fantastic. You just sit in it next to your sink, for example obviously next to like your bathroom, your kitchen sink. They just look so chic. This would be a lovely little duo for Christmas soap, this relaxing body soap to go with the candle. It does say on here it's mandarin, orange, douce, geranium, bergamot and lavender. So that was the smell I was trying to work out exactly what it was. But again, stunning packaging. Just the last product to show you, again, just a slightly different packaging style, um, but equally as stunning in this glass with metal tops and this is a body moisturizer and again this just smells beautiful so this kind of goes so nicely with the shower oil as like a little duo set i think these make an absolutely stunning christmas gift together or you could get some on the ultra rich wash with a hand cream as like a gift idea yeah just 
loads of little gift ideas there. The reason I work with L'Occitane is because I really believe in their principles and their ethos, they're very much into sustainability and recycling. So those are my favourites, those are my favourite bath and body products from L'Occitane. I've been really excited to show you this because for me the bath and body products from L'Occitane are some of my absolute favourites in the entire market so I've been so looking forward to showing you this. Make sure if you do want to like treat yourself and have a bit of you time, a bit of like a wellness moment for yourself, which I really believe we should all do a lot lot more, then yeah use Fro Xmas, you'll get 10% off and free next day delivery site wide. So hopefully um, you can treat yourself. Let me know if you do. And now I'm gonna have a, uh, I'm gonna have a bath. I'm gonna put on the mask and I'm gonna watch the last half an hour of the morning show and just chill out. That smells unreal. I realise how intimate this is. You're in the bath with me right now. <laughs> this smells amazing. This is like I am rubbing black currant petit falou all over my face right now, and it feels great. <laughs> I want to eat this. This smells unbelievable. Okay, full, well, very natural face on just enough so that i at least look awake <laughs> right i am gonna film i just want to go through and start putting away my bags in my closet which is very very exciting they have all been stuffed inside a small unit for about six months other ones have just been sat on the floor so i'm looking forward to kind of put them in some form of situation going forward let me show you the damage I realise they're currently on the floor right now, don't worry, they're going to be picked up any minute and start to be placed in different areas, but um, this is my current bag situation. Quick count, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, about 70, about 70 bags. Um, and a few of them I will most likely be putting on my Depop, actually, because this is too many, I do not need this many bags. So let's start, let's start putting them away, shall we? Wearing my loungewear, feeling very cozy in this. I saw Susie wearing it and was like, I really, really need this set. It's so cozy just to throw on around the house. So big fur this. I will leave a link down below, of course. Right, do you know what I just realized? I just realized I haven't powdered my face and I can see it shining away. One second, let me just powder, powder, powder with my favourite CC by Terry CC powder in apricot glow. Right, hope that's a bit better. One quick thing actually before I get into this video, I'm coming from the past back because I just realised that I haven't said. First of all, if you are brand new here to this channel and you came for this bag collection because it's pretty hefty, um, then hi, nice to see you. It would be amazing if you subscribe to my channel, it would be awesome to have you. And also I'm just in the fro on Instagram if you're looking for someone to follow. But secondly and most importantly, I just want to make a little disclaimer in here that this is in no way like a bragging show off video. You guys know me so well, people that might not know me before, I'm not that kind of person who uh, brags about what they have. I feel very very lucky that I'm in a position to own this many bags It's very excessive. It's unnecessary, uh, but I feel very very lucky I am kind of a luxury collector and I'm in a career that allows me to do that. I work very very hard for what I do so um, that's why I have so many bags. This is very unnecessary. Yeah, I just wanted to put that in there because I didn't say it before and I just want to make sure that no one is watching this thinking that I am in any way showing off here. This is more me excited to put away all my bags into their areas for the first time in my new house. That's it. Anyway, back to the collection. Right, okay. Um, I think I'm going to start off with a big bag to keep up here. I think that's going to have to be my Celine, which is in the canvas, and the tan leather straps. This is the one that I did rub on my jeans and get blue dye on the back, but I did manage to get the majority of it out and it doesn't even really bother me now at all. 
but it's such a fantastic travel bag or commuting bag, the kind of thing you just want to throw everything into. So I just couldn't love this more. Honestly, I'm so thrilled to have this. So that can go up here. Cool. First one in. Okay, next one I might do some Dior's. So, um, you may have already seen my Dior collection video. That goes into much more detail. I'll leave it linked down below if you want to watch that. But it goes into a lot more detail as to um, my Dior bags. But just so I can kind of quickly whiz through. I have the Lady Dior in the pearlescent pink. You can see it kind of like pearly. I've still got things like the little stickers on this because I wanted to keep it like perfect. But this is just one of my absolute favourite bags with the chain strap. For ages I had like a little Dior twilly wrapped around this. Um, and it's not here now, but it does mean that my handles are perfect. And it's honestly one of my favourite bags I've ever bought. It's just so beautiful, I love it. And then I might put that next to my Diorama in the burgundy textured leather with the silver hardware because I'm all about the silver hardware. Oh, I've got one of my Strathbury, got one of my little Strathbury in the fro pouches in here. Oh. This was one of the most incredible collaborations I've ever done designing my own collection with Strathbury. If you guys didn't manage to get one of my Strathbury bags then there, uh, not saying too much but I may have some good news soon. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to put these. These into here, I think. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to manage to get 70 bags on these two shelves if I'm... Well, actually, no, the rest of the bags are going to go here. I forgot, I forgot. The ones that I want on display, I'm going to put here. So we'll just, we'll just see. Oh, now currently, currently in my other area, just up here, I have this bag. Now this, unfortunately guys, this isn't mine. I'm so gutted because what I would give for an Hermes bag. <laughs> However, this is a bag I am borrowing. Um, I'm taking it with me tomorrow away on my ski trip. Um, so I'm borrowing this beautiful Birkin to take it with me. This is from, it's a website, it's an app called By Rotation. And the idea is that you can borrow other people's items. It's like a rotation thing. If there's, if there's a seller on there that has, for example, an Hermes Birkin, you can borrow it at a certain price and then keep it for a while and then give it back. So it's kind of like you can kind of share and use each other's stuff. It's really, really cool. And they asked if I'd like to borrow a Birkin for a little bit. And of course I was like, hell yes, please. That would be awesome. So um, yeah, I'll leave, it, I'll leave a link down below to buy rotation because you guys might be super interested, but Currently, I have this Hermes up there, but I have to be honest, I'm not going to obviously have this that much longer, so I need to have a bag up there. So, I'm going to put this on the side because I need to take this with me tomorrow. And instead, I mean, one of my other biggest bags is... Maybe this one, maybe I'll put this one up there. This is my this is my Chanel jumbo bag. It's just the most beautiful pattern. This was from like three years ago, three seasons ago when they did airport and air hostess inspired collection, like travel collection. And I just fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. It's super big, an amazing travel bag. Um, it's especially good if you were also taking a smaller suitcase around the airport with you and you just need and you've got somewhere to kind of place this on top to keep hold of it. Otherwise, you don't want to lumber it too heavy because this chain strap can dig in quite a lot in here unless you've got like a big coat on. That's the only thing I would say with it. Otherwise, I think it's one of the best, best bags I've ever bought. So that's going to go up here. Do you know what I, what I might do actually is put a couple of bags behind the other bags or else we're just not going to have enough space here. Right, I'm going to also put... I'm going to put a few more of my Dior bags behind behind those bags. So I've got the Dior Ever. No, nope. Dior. Anyway, this, <laughs> this is just one of the super famous styles and I got it in the grey with the gold studding. And I've used it so, so much. Although it still looks in fantastic condition. This looks like the rope, the cool rope strap. So I'm going to put that up there. And then also the Dior saddle. I have the super small one in the nude. 
I'll be completely honest, it doesn't fit anything in it and I wouldn't overly recommend getting this size of bag unless you literally want something that you're going to carry around and put a lipstick and a key in. I would definitely size up to the bigger size than this because it's teeny teeny weeny um, but it is an absolutely beautiful bag and I do still use it now and again if I know I don't need to take much with me or if I like to have a backpack I can put my own stuff in otherwise I just don't wear it that much to be honest. But I still love it and it's going on in here. This is a Dior Ever. This is like the super mini one in the beautiful cobalt blue and it's adorable. It's so gorgeous. I love it. This is one of my favourite bags still because it's just, I don't have anything in such a rich royal blue. So I'm going to put these up here. That's like Dior shelf. Almost looks like a bit of a shop, but you know. Okay, now moving on to Chanel. Yeah, so I'll put the rest of my Chanel's underneath my big Chanel. So I've got this Chanel, it's flap and handle bag. Honestly, I'm not very good with the names of the Chanel's at all. Um, I mean, I love Chanel bags, but I am a D I'm a Dior collector, really. Dior is like my most favourite brand in the world, as you all know. But this is one of my most used bags, just because it's such a versatile colour, it goes with everything. And every time I wear it, I always get a compliment. I couldn't recommend it more if you're looking for this style of bag. So I have that one from Chanel. And of course, I have the piece de resistance, which is the, do you know what? I wanna come, I wanna come closer. I feel like I'm really far, like I'm really, really far away. The pearl covered, um, it's like a blue satin material with the pearl covering. And like, again, honestly, I cannot go to a meeting or walk down the street without someone going, oh my god, that bag. It's just that talking point. I'm not sure if you can still get it in store, I'll be honest. I mean, I'd, if you love it that much, I'd always ask in store, because you just never know. And the only other Chanel, the only other Chanel that I have is my little mini wallet on chain, which is still a gorgeous bag. It's one of the first like super luxury bags that I bought when I was away in France. It's just gorgeous and it serves its purpose if you want something super small and mini. You can get, I mean, it's got little areas for your cards. So you can put cards in here, you can put your keys, lipstick, phone. It's that bag you can wear if you are just going on like a quick night out and you want a really beautiful bag that makes you feel fantastic, but you don't want something too big and bulky. Beautiful. So that's going to go in here. Um, right, let's do Louis Vuitton. So my biggest Louis is this one, the... Capuchin bag in the medium, beautiful pink textured leather. Um, if anything, I think I feel like maybe I need something in this to pad it out and to hold its shape a little better because it is it is kind of going a bit flat. Maybe I just need something to pad it out a bit. But I mean, look how stunning that bag is, and it's still such perfect perfect condition. And I got this on vestiaire second hand anyway. So it's still amazing. So that can go, the strap doesn't quite fit, but it's got enough to do, quite frankly. So the Louis can go in there. And then I've got a couple of other Louis. Um, first of all, the, the Louis Vuitton lock bag. I think this is the V-lock bag. Again, like I'll try and put links down below for each and every bag so you can actually go see them, but it's just such a beautiful way that it closes like that and it's in the is it the bean leather so it's really like non-scratch super hard wear and so it still looks like perfect so that's gonna go i might put the other one at the back and then put this one at the front and then one of my absolute favorite bags maybe ever is this one the new louis multi pochette bag that I very kindly received from the press team when this came out. This thing sold like hot cakes. This is such a fantastic bag and the fact you can kind of unhook everything, take this away as its own little bag or use this as its own bag and then the beautiful strap. If you can get this bag, I'd highly recommend it. It is just gorgeous. So maybe that could fit here like this. Yeah, that kind of works. Yeah, and then the last Louis, the last Louis, which oh, I still love it so much, and I keep seeing this in the store and being like, that's my backpack. Very, it's pretty much the exact same colours as the multi pochette, but in the beautiful pink leather, classic checkerboard print. And again, the fact you can just wear it as either a bag or a backpack makes me love this so much. So it's one of my 
favourite things I've bought. I bought this in the airport and I love it. So this can go, maybe I might put this here for this one. This needs something inside it to make it sit up better. Maybe I can do one of these two here, that one there. Okay, I think the next one needs to be Bulgari. Okay, so now my Bulgari collection is by far my biggest bag collection. I have worked with Bulgari now for a couple of years and they are one of my favourite, favourite brands. They are just so classic and sophisticated. I adore their jewellery. I have a number of their timepieces, I have a number of their jewellery pieces and their bags are exquisite. Well, this was a Selfridges exclusive that I was so proud to promote for Selfridges. In, inside this, of course, Tina's side, got the beautiful pink and orange and then it's got the dangling the lightning bolt dangling from the middle. So it's just a really special piece. And these sold out like crazy as soon as I mentioned them on my Instagram. It's amazing. So those are my two top handles. Then we have a number of the Serpentine Forevers. This one in a metallic silver. I so recommend these bags, guys, if you're looking for something really super special and luxurious for your more evenings and occasion bags because they are just amazing stunning bags that you'll always get complimented on i have it in the metallic silver in the patent metallic cobalt which is unbelievable and i also have it in again the special this year's selfridges limited edition style bags and i went for this one with the face and the lips which is absolutely stunning so those Three are the same style. This one is the more rectangular shape of the Serpenty Forever bag. Again, in a metallic silver. But it just works as a really great clutch for evenings out if you've got like an amazing gown on and you just need like a clutch. But it does also come with the beautiful Bulgari strap. Again, maybe I should do a Bulgari video. Maybe I should do a full Bulgari collection video, including my timepieces and jewellery. Let me know again if you'd like to see that. I can go into a lot more detail in this. I'm just very wary that there's a lot of bags to go through. I don't want this video to be ridiculously long. Um, and then I've got my Nicholas Kirkwood Bulgari Limited Edition bag, which is one of my favourites for evenings because of this stunning gold. And I don't have anything else that literally looks like a bar of gold. And it has this studding. It's, I mean, it's a bit of a lethal weapon, to be honest, but it's just absolutely amazing. And I'm so glad I managed to get my hands on this because it was like, it was just hotcakes, people trying to get this particular bag. And the very final Bulgari is the little belt bag in the white leather. And this comes with two straps, actually. It comes with one that's a full leather strap to make it into a belt. And it also comes with a the more delicate Bulgari silver chain strap however i unfortunately lost that on in the move so i no longer have that which is such a shame oh, but anyway beautiful bag okay next up oh do you know what i did miss i missed out one dior bag which is my huge dior book tote and the chances are that i may just have this out somewhere on display because it is such a large bag and it'll be hard to put it anywhere else so I might just have this out on display somewhere. Um, okay, next up, I think I'm gonna do Valentino. Oh my gosh. As if I have actually missed, I've missed a Louis Vuitton bag. I knew there was another one. This is another medium cappuccines bag and this one was in this really cool like, canvasy, it's like wool canvas style with the tan. This is just an absolutely incredible bag. I got the second hand on this year and it's just unreal. Look how like stylish and sophisticated this is. I need to wear this more because it just holds its shape so beautifully. Okay, I might have to put this on its own shelf. Okay, right, moving into my Valentino collection. I have a number. Um, first up, a bag that I should have worn so much more than I have. I remember I got this about two years ago in the Black Friday sales and it was on such a good price, about 40, 50% off. And I was like, going into spring, this will be absolutely perfect. And it is, it's amazing. It's the most perfect spring bag. I just haven't worn it as much as I should. And I think it's because before I couldn't see all my bags because I didn't have enough space to put them all. Whereas now, hopefully I can really show off this bag and then reach for it a lot more. I think I also bought it around the time that I started to move towards smaller bags more. 
but it's so gorgeous and it's amazing with the obviously the over shoulder strap as well as the handles so that has its own shelf in there and then okay Valentino makes some absolutely amazing evening bags so again metallic silver perfect as a clutch but also does come with a strap which is completely silver very jewelry-esque and just makes such a fantastic clutch to carry for occasions this one i got recently from louisa the aroma with some vouchers forest green with the gold finishes and i just love this opening this forward opening opens up into the full red inside and then a gorgeous very jewelry-esque strap to this as well sorry i had to change memory card because i'd been recording for so long and then um then i found myself snacking in the kitchen so anyway back to it so yes valentino bag amazing this one is kind of very similar style in to this one this one's slightly smaller this is more clutch style and this one has this really beautiful thicker top handle strap so you can kind of hold it like this as well which is kind of nice and quite often i would put my arm through and hold it like this almost like a wrist strap but it does also have the chain strap inside these bags have been around for so long now these are the rock stud bags and I honestly feel they're such a classic still. I, I've used them so much due to the colour. They go with like everything. Just pair it with a nude pair of shoes and you're good to go. They fit a lot of things inside of them. They look luxurious and beautiful. And straight away they scream Valentino, which is quite nice sometimes when you want to really show off your love for a certain brand. So I'm going to, oh, oh, this wrong. And this one is just really, I've managed to keep this one actually looking really, really beautiful. And the idea is that you put your hand through it and wear it like, like a clutch. Almost like this becomes a hand bracelet and you wear it like this. That sort of style. But again, it does have a longer strap if you did want to wear it cross body. Very classically Valentino with the, the studding. But this one has a double flap inside of this bag, which is really, really nice. Okay, so that's my Valentino collection. So let's put all of those together oh gosh i've missed this one sorry sorry valentino collection this beauty again just easy travel canvas bag it's very very similar to my celine that's up there which rebecca reminded me of as soon as i bought it however this is a chocolate brown very different style and shape this is just one of those cool massive totes that if you're going away for a weekend or say if i was going into london i needed like a really huge bag to throw loads in this is what i'd take if i needed something so big i'll leave all these bags linked in case i can still find them what i might do i may put this one up here Gucci of which I own too I bought this one is it was it the um Marmont bag everyone went crazy for these they came in all colors they still they still make these they're still absolutely fantastic bags I just don't see people wearing them quite as often anymore potentially I may end up selling this best thing to do guys would be anything from now on that you see that you think oh my god that's an amazing bag maybe just send me a dm and just if you're really interested send me a dm on instagram and let's chat about it anyway so the marmont bag and then i also bought this bag which i still adore in the beautiful like oriental floral print i get a really tough like bean bean leather i'm sure what it's called that's what it's called a huge tiger head logo on the front and again it's got so much room in it it's just such a gorgeous bag everyone was wearing these a couple of years ago and they were just so famous and huge especially the marmon i don't wear as much oh my gosh so dusty wow that's so dusty that's awful um my Givenchy antigona which is one of one of the first kind of luxury bags i bought into and it's still classic classic bags that now and again i'll reach for it I just love this shape and the style. It's just such a robust bag. I say this so much, but it really is just such a strong and versatile bag. It's so hard wearing. Like this still looks almost brand new, even like five, six years after I bought it. Okay, I have a couple of Chloe's. First being the little mini belt bag, which is just adorable in the leather and suede. It comes obviously with this long gold strap that you can make into a belt or you can just wear this 
as a long crossbody bag. Pretty sure they still sell these, by the way. They are such gorgeous little bags. Very kind of similar colour tone, actually, but I also went for the backpack and I got so much use out of this. I just think little tiny backpacks, if you're going away on more of a travelling trip, you're roaming around places, you need something to hold a few little items a little bit more safe and sound, then cute little backpack like this. It's pretty great actually. I love the fact that it had the backpack straps as well as like a top handle strap so you could just wear it over your shoulder if you wanted to. Okay maybe I need to get this out and then make more use. However my favourite Chloe of them all is this one um, but I got mine in the sunshine yellow and it's the best decision ever. This was when the, the yellow trend just like blew up and I was obsessed with it as a lot of you might remember. And I got this and did not stop wearing it. Genuinely love this style of bag. If you're interested in a Chloe, I would highly recommend this bag. The, the shape and size fits a lot in. It just feels really well made and luxurious. And the thick strap just makes it look a bit more cool and toned down. It's not like an evening bag, but it's just an everyday cool throat of your coat or blazer. And you're good to go style of accessory. So I'm going to put my Chloe's here. Two bags that I definitely will have out here will be this one from Versace, which is a very, very kind gift from the Versace team when I went to their Milan show this previous season and they sent me this brand new style of Versace bag, which is just so extra. And with the perfect outfit, it'll look awesome. I just need to find the right outfit to really style this up because the color is just like kapow. And one of my oldest bags, my Celine box bag, and it's still one of my favourites because it's just so classic and it's so elegant. Still in pretty fantastic condition as well. This is just the kind of thing that you can throw on with a blazer or a suit, a really cool coat, and it'll just look really put together. Miscellaneous brands. The only other brand that I have like a few of to mention would be from Todd's. Tops, I love their bags and their shoes. It's just such a gorgeous Italian brand. I have this absolutely adorable little orange. It reminds me of a bowling bag, that sort of style. Lots of details and little accessories hanging off of this and then a long strap. Then in the same vein, the yellow one, which was the season before. And again, it was around my time of being obsessed with yellow, which I still am to be honest. This just pulls through the middle of here with a nice thin strap on this one but it looks, looks really sweet over shoulder. This one was from this season, they very kindly gifted me this to go to the show. This is a tan suede and leather. It's just a very different style again with the tan strap, more of a kind of like countryfied feel to it. So beautifully made as always. Recently I worked with Todd's on a project and this is the bag that I spoke about in that project. It's a really unique fabric, canvasy that's been like embossed over. It's really unique. And loads of room. Could probably fit these two in. These are both mulberry and it is just such a beautiful bag. Still absolutely adore this style of bag. So that's that one. And this one, I mean, they're both similar shapes and styles, but this is the kind of the newer version. Forgive me for not knowing all the names. I'll have everything down in the description. I just don't know every single name of every single bag. I'm sorry. But again, very similar style with this big round buckle style opening. And this opens up, it's got a bit of an envelope feel at the front and loads of room inside and a stunning plum suede. Easy leather strap to go on here. I'll be honest, getting this short, like finding how to place this key section into that hole when you're in a rush or you're walking through the tube and you're trying to undo it, trying to get your card out. A little tiny bit frustrating, but otherwise a really adorable feminine style bag. I've also got my Bottega Veneta clutch that everyone else and their dog owned this, um, this season, but it was just the it bag of the absolute season. They've brought out loads more colours now and they've also got the smaller ones. I'm really, really glad that I got it because I've worn it quite a lot actually and it's just great to throw on onto your shoulder. That kind of tailored look with this is such a vibe and I really, really love it. In that case then, I think what I might do is start stacking a few of these bags in collections into here. My Todd's unfortunately don't fit, so I'm gonna have Todd's down here. I still have this from Berber, I put this together 
I customised this a few years ago. They asked me if I wanted to customise my own Burberry bag, and I did, and this is what I went for. So this is so unique, you won't find it really anywhere else, which is why I've kept hold of it, because it's pretty cool to have your own like custom Burberry style bag. I just haven't really worn it since. It's very much like doctor's bag style. It's beautiful, and it also has a pink strap as well. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. Oh, do you know what? I haven't shown you my coach collection. I do have a couple of coach bags. First being the brand new coach bag, which is stunning. It is such a sophisticated style bag. My mum would love this bag, absolutely love it. Very, very elegant, lovely gift from coach. It fits really nicely in here. I'm really, really pleased. These fit like perfectly inside this. This bag was the Selena Gomez collaboration which again has loads of room inside of it, a ziplock close. I just haven't used it in a while because I don't often wear as much red, but it looked great with like full black outfits or, you know, just something needed a pop of colour. This little number, which is like the classic famous coach style of mini, mini bags in a beautiful metallic purple. This bag is, oh, it's so cute. This is from a brand called LM, L or LME. E double L E N E because a woolly furriness with the tan sections, such a cute little top handle. So in fact, I might leave this out. I think I'll take that with me tomorrow. Then I've got my Sen Rev backpack, which I have shown you a number of times, and I love, I absolutely love this bag. It fits so much in. It's so robust. It's like non-scratchable. It's so sophisticated the style of it. It's got the backpack. I mean, I've shown you this before num numerous times, but the way that it, it works out is a backpack, then you pull the strap through to make it into a crossbody. And then my only other super large bag, which currently is holding all of my scarves, so I'm gonna have to get them out actually. My Anya Heimarsh bag, which again I haven't worn for a long time, but this is again one I customised, and it's tan suede on the back it's like a burgundy leather and then I got it customized with the big heart strap the fluffy very iconic Anya Heimarsh smiley face and then with this strap so actually this bag is unbelievable it's worth a lot because I added so many extra little bits to it but I think it's the most just gorgeous fantastic like bucket bag so I've kept it and kept it for that reason even though I haven't really worn it I'm still like I'm so in love with this bag anyway. Then I've got two from Dolce, two from Dolce & Gabbana. I'll be honest, I don't buy Dolce & Gabbana anymore after a few of the things that were said by their owner, unfortunately. But um, still love the bags that I have, I must admit. This is such a stunning piece. It's just very elegant and stylish in the usual Dolce & Gabbana way. I got this bag years ago, it's a little nude land van bag, more of a box shape, very cool opening and that these kind of turn and twist at the same time and open up into a lot, a lot of space in there and a really pretty thin chain strap. Miss this out, this is my, this is my other dark chain cabana, a sweet little white clutch with roses all over it. Oh, another Anya Heimarsh, silver metallic. I have worn this so much and it comes with the big... I mean, Anya Heimarsh just likes to have accessories hanging from her bags. It's very cool. I think she just likes that customization approach. But highly recommend these bags if you are looking for a really sweet, smaller bag that isn't crazy, crazy top price luxury. I'd definitely look at these. A mini little YSL, again in nude. Um, and I've actually worn this a lot as well just because of the shape and the size and the style. And it's got this leather. Oh, I've got pound coins in here. Just a nice thin leather strap. So it's got more of a casual vibe. And, oh, put my mulberries in here. In a way, it's kind of nice being able to keep these all tucked in here because they'll actually probably keep nicer and be less dusty than these on display. But of course, the ones on display, I do wear more, so. And that's kind of why I want them there, so it can remind me every day and be like, oh, I could wear this one today. And I also have these two, exactly the same style, that are both from Bali as well. One in blue and one in black, because they're like lock bag. There. I'm back again. Honestly, this has been <laughs> so difficult to record. Like, new camera, obviously, teasing issues. And because I've been recording for so long, I'm like filling up cards right, left and centre, so 
I'm almost done, I'm almost done. And by going downstairs, I realised that I also missed this bag because this is the one I'm currently using and it's on my dresser. This is a Dior Montan bag. And most likely, I would say at this point, if you were looking to buy any Dior bag, I'd buy this one because it's the most roomy. It's the most on trend. It's got a huge amount of room in here. I love the monogram effect fabric, but they do also come in loads of different coloured leathers and I just find myself reaching for this one the most because I can fit the most in it so it's the easiest one to wear and it looks so fab fit myself in the gullet um, and again I get loads of compliments whenever I wear this there will always be someone that goes wow I love that bag so big big fan where was I up to yeah sorry my little tiny Fendi I got this years ago it's so cute it's part of their like peek is it peekaboo range yeah, I used to have a, another Fendi, it's battered and bruised, and I've retired it into my older bags. I have like a box with like my oldest mulberries in it and my Fendi. Just just my older bags that I've kind of retired because they're not really wearable now, but I can't get rid of them because they're like my classics. Anyway, so I have this cute little peekaboo. It is adorable and it's got the chain strap in silver again. Very sweet, unique and statement bag, but I just fell in love with it. I also have my two Dior mini clutches, which come as part of their lipsticks range. Um, you may have seen me promoting my like Dior on this, but this is a gorgeous little Dior clutch that opens up with a mirror, and inside it has six lipsticks. It's like £138, unbelievable price. They're still available, so if you are looking for one, I will leave a link down below for you. But just gorgeous. And each year they bring one out. This is last year's and then this is this year's. So of course I love to keep them because they're amazing clutch, bo clutch boxes. I also have this little Emporio Armani bag with this beautiful texture. It's a bit like dragon skin or however I would expect dragon skin to feel. It feels really great actually. Just a really simple easy black bag when sometimes you just want the simplest of black bags. The, yeah, this bag is from Mashu. Uh, I want to give it a quick shout out because this is pineapple leather. So it's a so it's a vegan made bag and such a cool style. I think they sell this on Selfridges or a few different luxury sites and it's just an up and coming brand that I think is really going to do amazing things. Um, just such a nice style. I like this area. It's like miscellaneous small bags. This is so sweet. Netta Porte sent me this the other day as a gift, like a big box of gifts. And they included this. It's from, this is from May Cassidy. It does also have a longer strap as well. It feels so like Art Deco style with the right dress and me sort of carrying this. It's just going to be so great. I mean, can you see all those details? So that will definitely come handy for an event at some point. And these are literally the last few I have a Victoria Beckham envelope clutch, Fendi clutch, again very kind of logo heavy. Oh I love this! One of my amazing followers bought me this from Katie Loxton that says bride on it and I took it to my wedding. This little Proenza schooler, very tiny little triangle bag, little clutch. Two in the more kind of premium end of the scale rather than super duper luxury. This is an amazing, I have so many Pinko bags, but this is my favourite by far. I've worked with Pinko all year and this is by far my favourite style. It almost reminds me a bit of the Chloe. And I love the colour and the studding on this and the big chunky strap. Honestly, I love this bag. I think it's fantastic. Slightly run out of viewable space. I'm just going to put it here, kind of at the front. Right guys, so that is my entire bag collection. I can't believe I've actually managed to go through my entire, entire collection in absolute detail. This is however missing, this is missing all of my Strasbourg bags and it's missing all of my other Pinko bags. But otherwise I think I've got everything. Oh, so I need to go, in fact all my, all my Strasbourg bags are just still in a different chest of drawers downstairs to keep them safe from my collaboration range that I did with them. So I need to bring them up and put them in there as well. Otherwise, this is it. So we've got Chanel section, Bulgari, Valentino, Gucci, Gucci, Chloe. And then over on the right hand side, there's a big Valentino behind there, but you've got Celine. Maybe I should put my Celine up here. Let's see. Then we've got Dior, Louis. There's so Louis back there as well, but then there's Givenchy, Versace, Celine, and Bottega. All my scarves I now need to put away. 
but yeah so these are looking really gorgeous i just need to tidy this all up and make it look fabulous i just can't wait to get the painting done in here and the lighting done and and a usable floor just so it feels like perfect because then I can't wait to do like a full tour for you. But for now, I really hope you enjoyed this because this was long. This took me a long time. So I'm sorry guys if it was quite a lot to watch. Obviously I feel very, very lucky that I'm in a position to own this many bags. This is not the norm. I hate the idea that someone's watched this and feels a pressure to buy lots of bags like this. It's unnecessary. This is just because of what I do in my career and it's just an appearances thing. I have to go to new events with different bags for those designers and etc. So it is excessive, it's unnecessary and I very much appreciate that and respect that. However, I do have my favourites and hopefully maybe some of these you've been thinking about or, you know, I've helped you maybe make a decision. For anyone who is brand new and hasn't seen before, um, please do follow me on In The Fro on Instagram and also subscribe to this channel. It'll be amazing to have you. And yeah, that's it for today, guys. I know this was kind of like a, a short vlog, but it's got a lot of stuff in it. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Please don't forget as well that the L'Occitane discount code FROXMAS will get you 10% off on L'Occitane. Please use it and enjoy it. I hope you get all of your favourite goodies again from there and enjoy it. I guess I'll see you in my next vlog soon. And love you lots. Bye.